Are you literally a glass cannon? Because you have like four hearts. I could literally sneeze on you and you would die. <laughs> you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified for future videos. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Minecraft One Life. In today's episode we're gonna go ahead and make some added muscle to protect my house. We're gonna build some golems because I found out that there's a bunch of different golems you can build and I'm super excited and maybe we can open up like a golem building business so people can hire me to like send bodyguards to their house. That would be pretty cool. So I want to make a little golem family. So I'm going to need a few things from you guys. I'm going to need you all to leave names in the comment section down below for the golems. I'm also going to need you to leave down below in the comment section an idea for what their house should be. Because we're going to build them a lovely little house to live in near my house. But before we even begin to understand and fathom how to build golems, we must pay the wizard a visit one more time as he knows the secrets and we are off to see the wizard the wonderful wizard of one life let's go oh my goodness my path has been blocked by a door oh great one life wizard what please tell me the secrets of, of how to build golems i see your apprentice has come to listen no great wizard come back don't walk away from me i wish to know your secrets i will make this quick since you and the rest of one life players are very annoying you will need to craft a golem spell you know how to craft right and with the golem spell you will make a golem head which is what is used to create any golem of your wildest dreams with any materials you wish. Okay, bye. So according to the wizard, I have to make a golem spell, which I then use to make a golem head, and that's how you make the special golems, and you can make them from various different materials. So we're gonna go ahead, go back home, decide which golem I would like to build. Thank you once again, great wizard, but I have one question. Please leave it. Where is your cat gone? I can hear it, but I don't see it. Not that it's any of your business, but Mr. Fluffy ran away. Oh, that's what's happened to it. Interesting. Well, goodbye for now. Don't come back. Now we are back home. First order of business is to make some of the items that the wizard told me to make. So first up is the golem head, which I require a golem spell and a pumpkin. So I think I've got a pumpkin. If not, I will go hunt some down, but I should have some. I do. Excellent. So next up is the golem spell. So that's super easy to do. It's feather, paper, and ink sack, and some redstone. So redstone. I think I might not have any ink sacks, but I can go get some ink sacks. That's fine. We've got paper. We've got feathers. And we just need ink sacks, so I'm have to go beat up some squids. Here, yeah, squiggy, squiggy. Where are you? There must be some squids somewhere around here. Well, after several hours of looking for... Blooming ink. I finally found it. For some reason, we appear to have a squid shortage on One Life. They've all disappeared, and it was a pain to find them, but I found some. So now we can go ahead and start crafting what we need. So we need a golem spell, like so. And then we need a golem head, like so. And I want to get two of these. Very nice. Now, I think if you have a golem spell, you can press shift to see valid golem materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one. And then if I hold shift. Or do I have to hold over it? Okay. Block of diamond, block of emerald. Ooh. You can make all sorts of crazy golems. Now, I've got a lot of redstone. So I'm going to make a redstone golem. I think we should do that. I've got enough blocks. And I think all I have to do to make the redstone golem is literally do it like a normal golem. And then whack the head on. Is that how I do it? No, can't believe you've done this, Kyle. You've done this wrong. For some reason, redstone wouldn't work, but lapis is also on the list of available blocks for said golems. So let's see if this works. It works! We have our first golem. We have the lapis golem. So don't forget to leave a comment down below with a name suggestion for the golems. There's going to be two golems, so I will need names for them both. Just pick names that you think would suit a lapis golem, and then I'm not sure what to do my last golem as. If I'm honest, we've got plenty of diamonds. Do I have enough to make a diamond golem? That would be pretty swish. Oh boy, I think we do. So the blocks go down like so. The diamond golem head goes on like so. Hello, how swole is that diamond golem? Just look at the state of its hearts. That right there is disgusting. What is all that about? 
Well, an absolute unit. I'm gonna go ahead and make another golem. Apparently, you can make a glass golem, and according to the golem list, it's pretty powerful, which I wouldn't have thought it would be with it being a, made of glass. Maybe it's a glass cannon. Ah. I get what they did there. Glass cannon. It's a term. I get it. Smart. I like it. On you go. Okay, are you literally a glass cannon? Because you have like four hearts. I could literally sneeze on you and you would die. Also, you look really weird. Why are you following me around? Whoa! Okay. He looks cool though. I like him. He appears to be doing some sort of strange... Why does everything I encounter on One Life just start boogieing on down? It's all very odd. Why is this? So there we have it, guys. We have the Diamond Golem, the Lapis Golem, and the Glass Cannon himself. The Glass Golem. So now these are complete. Next episode, we will build them a place to live. But what sort of place I built for them is completely up to you guys. But without further ado, it is time for the interesting fact of the day. Today's interesting fact is brought to you by Dabby Falls, and their fact is the I in iPhone stands for internet. I never knew that, but now that I think about it, it's so blooming obvious. Why did I not know? Why did I not know this? I should have known this because it's really obvious. It makes perfect sense. So hopefully you enjoyed today's golem-tastic video. If you did, don't forget to leave a interesting fact down below. I would also like you to leave comments suggesting what the cow bandito could get up to in a future episode, but as he will be returning to cause more mischief on the server. Don't forget to leave names of the golems as well and what type of house I should build them. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.